The girl drinking water posture. Let the man can no longer hold down the excitement inside. He walked step by step behind the girl. He took her hand and rubbed it gently underwater. Then he held her in front of the stove. The girl had never seen a fire before. Curiously, she reached out and touched it. The old shepherd hurriedly took her hand in his mouth. When the girl did not resist, he intensified his efforts. Unable to speak, the girl was pushed up the wooden ladder, passive to the old shepherd's aggression. She could only shed tears in silence. What they did not know was, at that moment, the old shepherd's son was watching from outside. Father and son live in the Alps. Usually they live by hunting. This day, the old shepherd was out and met a spiritual boy, Jack, seeing that he was strong. He took him home, unaware that Jack had killed his girlfriend. He fled to the mountains because he killed his girlfriend. Free labor. So the old shepherd took Jack hunting in the mountains during the day. In the evening, the three of them had a good time together. Long nights, the loneliness was unbearable. Jack got into a mood and talked about women. He told the old shepherd that his girlfriend had fallen in love with him. He couldn't stop thinking about her. That's why he wanted to come to the mountains to heal. Hearing this, the old shepherd laughed. He said the best way to forget a woman was to find a new woman. Jack obviously didn't believe that there was a woman in the middle of nowhere. At this point the old shepherd asked his son to make a doll. There is a legend in the Alps. Three shepherds who were too lonely in the mountains for years, so they used brooms, straw and rags to make a scarecrow. They also painted his eyebrows. They sewed on the eyes and made it look like a woman in their imagination. So the magician would grant their wishes, turn the doll into a living person, to help them clean the house during the day. At night, it becomes their toy. Looking at the sewn-up scarecrow, the old shepherd recited a few incantations to it. Then the drunken few people will hold it and dance. It was as if a beautiful woman appeared in front of them, and they danced together. The next day, the son woke up the old shepherd in a panic. The three of them went closer to see. They found a girl in the utility room. He was wearing the same clothes as the scarecrow last night. The girl was very resistant to their approach. The old shepherd said happily to Jack. Last night's wish had come true, but Jack didn't believe in such a fanciful legend. He suspected that the girl was lost and had come to the mountain. Soon the police would be at his door. Then he couldn't hide the fact that he had killed someone. The first priority was to get the old shepherd to send the girl down the mountain. But the old shepherd didn't think so. He said the girl was wearing a doll's clothes. Apparently he was the scarecrow from last night. Let him stay here and satisfy his own desires. Why should he let the goose fly away? While the two were arguing, the old shepherd pretended to go to the house to get something and took the girl away. So there was the scene at the beginning. Now the old shepherd is even more reluctant to let the girl go down the mountain. That day, Jack took the girl away when the old shepherd wasn't looking, showed her the way down the mountain, but the girl didn't want to leave. She pushed Jack away and ran to the mountain, and the old shepherd also came looking for her. The man grabbed the fleeing girl. He pinned her to the ground, covering her mouth to keep her from making a sound. When the old shepherd left, Jack looked at the girl beneath him, finally did not resist the temptation. After this play, Jack also did not want to send the girl away. He secretly sent the girl back to the cabin, pretending that nothing had happened. He sent the shepherd's son away. The old shepherd who rushed to see his son at gunpoint, he didn't dare to do anything rashly. He explained that he had been running all over the mountain just looking for the girl. Hearing this, Jack laughed. He said the girl was in the house. He shared his experience with the old shepherd in a bitchy way. He said he had given up the idea of sending the girl to send her away. Extending his hand to shake hands with the old shepherd and make peace, the tension was instantly diffused. At night the two sat in front of the campfire, planning their next move. The old shepherd looks on with relief. The son danced with the girl. He went over to him, trying to give his son a little lesson, and probably showed off his educational achievements to Jack. To his surprise, the shy son ran straight back to the house, leaving the girl dumbfounded in her place. They frantically poured alcohol into the girl. Then they carried the drunken girl back to the house. Jack's hand was bitten by the girl during the struggle. This completely pissed off Jack. He kept on taking out his anger on her. When the girl woke up the next day, found herself surrounded by men. She decided to stop living like this. So she went to the kitchen, grabbed a knife and headed out of the house. When the old shepherd was called to the captive house by his son, the smell of blood was a deterrent even before he reached the door. When he entered the house, he found 
His beloved lambs had been killed by the girl, he wanted to kill the girl in anger, and that's when Jack found, the girl was shivering and hiding in the attic. Poor look makes Jack newborn love, could not bear to see her in the hands of the old shepherd, so he took the girl to the barn, promised to take her away when it was safe. The old shepherd instructed his son and Jack to bury the sheep. He took his gun and went after the girl. By the time he returned, he found Jack with a high fever due to an infected wound. He hurriedly asked his son to get medicine from the warehouse. Unexpectedly, as soon as his son entered the door, he was knocked unconscious by the girl with a bottle of wine. When the old shepherd saw that his son was late in returning, fearing that something had happened to him, he rushed to the barn with his gun. When he entered the house, he saw the girl crouching on the floor. Without saying a word, he pulled the door shut, ignoring the girl's tapping on the window for help, took out a bottle of wine and threw it at the house, then lit the house with a match. The fire immediately spread. Luckily, there was a skylight on the house. The girl was able to escape from the fire. The old shepherd pointed his gun at the girl, but suddenly the sound of tapping came from inside the house. He looked and found his son inside the house. The old shepherd rushed to save his son who was covered with fire. He took off his clothes and put out the fire for him, but it was too late. The son was lying on the ground and gradually lost his breath, and the girl who came back to check the situation was again caught by the old shepherd. The three men were too lonely. They gathered around the scarecrow and cast a spell, and to their surprise, a girl appeared. The men danced around her happily. They got the girl drunk with wine and carried her into the house. When the girl woke up again, she found herself lying next to two strong men. She took a knife and killed all the old shepherd's beloved sheep, and let his son be burned alive by fire. When she finished her revenge and wanted to leave, but the old shepherd caught her. He tied the girl's hands with a rope. He put a knife to her eyes. Just as he was about to stab her down, Jack appeared with a gun. He tells the old rancher to let the girl go. The old shepherd tells Jack that the girl is a demon. He had to kill her to avenge his son's death. Hearing this, Jack pulled the trigger without saying a word. He wounded the old woodman's shoulder. He thinks Jack has gone crazy in order to save his life. The old woodman turned around and cut the rope from the girl's hand with a knife, put her down. When the old shepherd was ready to leave, the girl behind him picked up the knife on the ground, stabbed the old shepherd hard. The old shepherd died instantly. Jack was stunned by what he saw. He did not want to hurt the old shepherd's life. Jack immediately pointed his gun at the girl. After seeing her helpless expression, he couldn't do anything about it. Jack's wound was getting worse and worse. He asked the girl to go down to the mountain to buy medicine for him. But the girl didn't know how to do that. When she returned, Jack was already not breathing. The day the police came to the house to find out what was going on. But the old shepherd was nowhere to be seen when they went inside. Inside were only three bodies stuffed with straw. The police were scared and backed up. It turned out that the girl followed the old shepherd's example of handling the corpses. She used tools to make their faces bigger, after stuffing their mouths with straw, then sew them up with needle and thread, to make them look like dolls. As the legend ends, after the three shepherds have satisfied their desires, they will be killed by the girl they made with their own hands, stuffing their bodies with straw, finally become the girl's dolls.